Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. My name is Mary. I upload videos twice a week on Mondays and Fridays. I do beauty, lifestyle, unboxing, hauls, tutorials, trying to get more into vlogging. I am almost in my third trimester with my ch third child, so I'm trying to throw in like pregnancy and um, kid stuff in my videos as well. So if you're interested in that, then make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. For today's video, we are actually doing my June Boxy Charm unboxing. This is super late. I usually get the box a lot earlier, but with COVID and all that stuff still going on, it has slowed down the process a lot and especially this month so i wasn't very happy about that but if you were interested in seeing what i got in my box this month then just keep watching you guys are gonna have to excuse my hair i'm on like day three hair day two hair i don't even know and it's like eight o'clock at night because that's when I can film unless my husband is home to watch the kids because they're just too loud. Our house is really small. So it's eight o'clock, the kids are in bed and I am sitting down <laughs> to film. So I literally put this makeup on just to film this video. That is how dedicated I am to this. So anywho, we're gonna jump into my BoxyCharm. If you don't know anything about BoxyCharm, it is a monthly subscription. They have a couple different tiers. I just have the base box, which is I think like 26 a month, five full size items, one customization. So that's what I have. So this comes with a little card in here. And usually there's a theme and the theme of this month is a dare to dazzle. And let's just go ahead and jump off. So my choice item this month is from First Aid Beauty and it is their Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer Moisturizer with for sensitive skin. I have this on today. Again, obviously I can't give like a awesome review of this because I've only used it once, but I will tell you guys, I have seen this raved over so many different YouTube channels, Instagram pages, so I was really excited to get this. It says that it is formulated with coconut water and other superfood ingredients. This complexion enhancing moisturizer instantly brightens, hydrates, and smooths while helping blur the appearance of pores. The result is beautiful, healthy, long looking skin when worn alone and long lasting makeup when used as a prep step. This retails for $30, so it is a little bit pricey. I have used a lot of First Aid Beauty skincare and I absolutely love them, so super excited about this another item in here is from luna magic beauty it is their va va voom pink lash primer it retails for 25 this is a new launch and the packaging on this is just so cute i have never gotten a lash primer before that i know of so i actually have this on i have it on this eye but not on this eye I did not curl my lashes I feel like you can see a difference at least in my opinion I did this one coat of this two coats of mascara on here two coats of mascara on here and I think there is a difference at least in my opinion so I'm really excited about this I'll show you what it looks like pink wand really interesting and it says that with just one sweep, this innovative primer mascara glides on to evenly coat and smooth your lashes to maximize the final result of your favorite mascara. The mascara that I wore is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara, so it's a really popular, really great mascara. So I'm really excited about this. Something new that I haven't gotten before in a box. So that's nice. Another item in here is from Love Script. It's called their Wild Lavender Body Wash. It retails for $28. This is huge, it's six ounces. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of lavender scents, so I think I am going to save this for a giveaway. If you guys don't know, I do monthly giveaways on my channel. I have already done June's giveaway, so this will be saved for a future one. So just be on the lookout for that. I have a ginormous box that I set products aside that I won't use. I don't want them to go to waste, so I save them for giveaways for you guys. This month I had two winners, so that might be something I'd do again. 
But yeah, this I will save for a giveaway. Another item in here is from Touch and Soul. It is their Pretty Filter Glodiant Makeup Palette. This is also a new launch. Retails for $34. Okay, so at first I saw like pictures of this and I really was not wanting this, but then I watched a bunch of unboxings for BoxyCharms and everybody in, is in love with this. I have it on. I will insert like a little clip of me applying it. But this is what it looks like. It looks kind of weird because I kind of like swatched all the way through it. But today I just have these two shades on. So I want to show you what it looks like in the pink one. So these are the first three. Holy cow. It kind of reminds me of the Flower Beauty palette that I have. But that is just so incredibly pretty. And then I will show you the last two right here very pigmented and then i'm just gonna like swipe my finger through all of it and this is what that looks like really pretty so i'm actually very pleased with this i didn't think i was gonna like it because i don't like face palettes but i actually absolutely love this i think this is my favorite thing out of the whole box honestly this for the primer and then the last item is from OPV Beauty. It is their Spotlight Eyeshadow Palette, which retails for $40. So I, I took it out of like the bubble wrap and the Unicart, but I'm actually gonna be saving this for a giveaway only because I already have a palette very similar to this. So this is the OPV Beauty Palette right here. And this is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Apart from like the blues in here, I just think they are so similar, at least in my opinion. And I didn't think that I needed both of them. I feel like I can create a look pretty similar with either palette. I'm gonna do like a close up of the two palettes so you guys can see the similarities. But, um, all the shades that I'm wearing today are shades that I found um, duplicates in this one, but I use this. So it is a beautiful palette, don't get me wrong. If I didn't have this Born to Run palette, I would keep this, but because I have this, I really don't need another palette as similar. So this will also be saved for a giveaway. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in this little boxingy and have it set in my giveaway box. So those are the all five items from my box this month and the total value is $157, which is pretty awesome considering I'm paying like 26. I will however say I was so close to canceling um before this box came. Like I was gonna keep the box obviously, but I was gonna cancel after I got it because I've just been so pissed with like how long it's taking and everything but i really do like this box like it turned out really well so i think again my favorite product is this guy and then my least favorite product is probably the body wash just because i don't like lavender scents i don't know maybe that's just me um but yeah that is all i have for you guys for today's video thank you so much for watching Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and be on the lookout for my July giveaway video. It should be up in the next couple of weeks and I will see you in my next video. Bye.